What's going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at natural gas and also we're going to be looking at two trades that I'm in right now. Of course, you already know the one and the other one's going to be home. I just got in it today. So let's go ahead and take a look at these stocks. My face, don't mind my face. I got dust and crap all in it because I was outside blowing leaves. Well, other people are raking. I'm out there blowing. I just get a lot more dirtier. I still got a shower, but we'll just do that later. Let's talk about natural gas and uh, home and this other swing trade that I'm in right now. Oh yeah, I don't wanna forget, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and like this video. All right, today we're gonna to go ahead and look at a little bit of natural gas here on this chart. Instead of U-Gas, uh, we've been looking at U-Gas, but let's take a look at natural gas so we can really see what's going on with it, as you can see. Right here, we have resistance right around, let's see, what is it, uh, $2 and say $2 and 46 cents. What's today, is uh, today Thursday? Oh yeah, it's Thursday, so I forgot that the report came out. I guess it wasn't that good. I'm not gonna even bother looking at it because respecting that resistance level right there and if it did have a good report it definitely would have broken through that today if we pull up the 10-year two-day chart you can see it actually does have higher highs here and it does have a higher low so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to draw a trend line to this right here so that's going to give me some indication so that way i have that in the background but if we are looking at natural gas we are in a bullish movement i would say just by the trend is going up so that's good. But the question is, is you guys going to go into RS before this thing maybe starts to go here? That's the question. But if we zoom in here closer and look at it, you know, yep, it is respecting that right there, 246. So it's going to have to, it's going to have to bust through that sometime here. So let me pull up you guys. Why not? Let's take a look at it here. Whoops, that's not you guys. The hell is that? You guys dot so that that ran out pretty good today. Looks like whatever the hell that is. Anyways, let's get to the real you guys. All right, so one thing we're gonna look at here, this resistance level right here, this was the one that natural gas ticked off of. So you can see how bad that these ETFs deteriorate. So that's basically why you guys never got to this resistance level. That's why when you trade this, you always need to look at natural gas for support levels and resistance levels. It's very smart to do that. And you're probably thinking, well, you didn't look at it yesterday. Well, yeah, I'm not smart sometimes. Okay. None of us are. When I got a million stocks going on in my head, I forget a few things here or there, you know? So if I was a betting man, I'd probably say that you guys is probably going to have a red day tomorrow because looking at natural gas, I don't, you know, I don't just don't see it breaking through that right now. Although if it does break through it, then you guys is going to have a really good day because when it normally breaks through resistance like that, it really breaks through it. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at home here. This uh, stock had a really horrible day yesterday. Look at this. It drops 41% yesterday. That is a massive drop. And the reason why it dropped is because it didn't have good guidance going into the future. So, uh, okay. Yeah, I can understand a stock dropping, but 41%, that's a little bit ridiculous. That's why I got into this today and I made a tweet out. So if you guys got it. That's good. Um, I made a video yesterday, you know, showing I'm, I, you know, I make tweets right when I see stuff, I make tweets because I can't make a video all the time. So if you want to get into like some of these stocks, you need to get my Twitter account. So that way you can see this stuff. So what happened on this trade, I had a limit buy in at $5 and it only ended up filling 50 shares and then I kept on running. So then I went ahead and bought another 300 right around $5 and 20 cents. So I got in at a very good price, I think. And you can see it just had one big green candlestick and then it just basically consolidated all day right on the support level here at about five. 549 ish and i'm looking at being the swing trade till around eight dollars so we'll see if it gets up there or not which i think it will eventually but this stock tends to go very slowly and today was basically the big push so it's gonna just consolidate hopefully in an upward slow slow pattern so this might be a little bit of a long swing trade if we look at the bigger picture here you can see it did have another massive drop here and then it went up and then it just had another massive drop and the lowest has been on this one was four dollars and 58 cents so that's I'm at a pretty good price, I think, for this stock. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take a look at ONTX. This is the swing trade that I am still in right now. So I also tweeted this out in the morning, too. I just realized that now th this does look like a cup and handle pattern right here. You can see here's the cup and then the handle. Basically looks like a bowl kind of right there. I mean, I didn't even, it's so obvious. I don't know why I didn't see this before. But today, this stock had a red day. So if we zoom in here, you can see it dumped off pretty pretty good in the morning. And then it came back up and tested this resistance here right around 30 cents and it rejected and came back down. But eventually I'm hoping for this thing to break it when we got some news coming up next week. So that's what I'm looking for. And I'm going to go ahead and keep this trend line right here because it's still going to be there and it's actually going to be resistance for it. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it there unless it keeps going down. Then I'm going to go ahead and move it like a little bit later. But right now I'm just going to keep that 
this trend line that I have going on right here. This is just to show you, show you why I got this trend line here. You can see the trend line going up. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Not much of a video today, just going through some charts, you know, getting our heads up about what's going on with them. So if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I go through, you know, swing trades. And if you ever want me to look at a stock, don't, don't be shy to comment. You know, I'll go ahead and look at anything and I'll tell you the honest damn truth of what I think about it. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and hit this like video if you guys enjoy it. And everybody, let's make some money, everybody.